Hello Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And in this video, I thought I'd actually start talking about the power level because in the last video I made, I talked about burnout. Uh, it's funny because like I literally played Destiny footage just for this video, but I don't know. You know what? Life just works in mysterious ways. So let's actually just start talking about power level before I go off topic. So when it comes to power level in Destiny, it's been a thing literally since like Destiny 1. It was renamed to... Uh, Oh wait, there's power and light. Now that I realise I think I've been calling it the wrong name. Uh, ah, we could just say power level anyway, who cares. But like, I, I do know that like, specifically like when Destiny 2 was made, it was originally in Destiny 1 light level. They changed the power level and then they just changed like the power level to yellow to match the light level and thing. Probably the same thing. And at, that, at this point, like we have darkness as well as a subclass. So like, you can't really just say it's complete like light level as well if you want to kind of mash in the excuse of, oh, well, we wield light and dark, you know, that sort of thing. Unless you don't own uh, Beyond Light and the Witch Queen. So I think it's been long debated and people were thinking like it might have happened during the Witch Queen, but obviously it didn't. And especially with the addition of like different levels of activity and contest mode being used more often. Like I think contest mode is used within the uh, legendary campaign just so like you're at this light level all the time, no matter like how high you actually are. In power level so and like you know all these different factors kind of tie into like it's a bit of a bit of a buzz i've heard a few people talk about it quite a bit where it's just like why do we even have power levels anymore should the power grind be removed and obviously you know your first like fear is like oh wait if i don't like if i don't grind for power then what am i grinding for and then well you know it's it's a little shooter game you know kind of like pick like and choose what you want to do you know you can go for like artifact level you can go for the uh season pass level you can go for weapon level i think i already mentioned that but i'm going to mention it again because it's important because like even just like grinding for a specific weapon itself would be handy if bungie actually implemented like nightfall loot again like they did in the original vanilla destiny 2 but hey you know what we, we can always hope that they'll like bring something like that back i know like they do kind of have like you know like nightfalls where you can get like this this and this but i mean like no, well, actually, I just realized as well, normal strikes have uh, that too. But what I'm really aiming for is, like, very specific, okay, this strike gives you this craftable weapon. Uh, so let's say, like, the Devil's Lair gives you... Oh, what was it called? You could get it, like, in different attributes or different... Um, the light flavors, I'll just call it because I can't remember the, the na name subclass stuff off the top of my head. Elements. Um, it was the white sniper rifle, and I do remember, like, having a few of them, just because it's like, oh yeah, this one's, like, solar, and this one's, a uh, void and all that. Because, like, even just having that as a chase as well, like, different variants of the same gun, it would be handy. And, like, obviously I say craftable as well, because, could you imagine this, right? You need five borders to get, like, make your god roll of this, like, certain weapon. And obviously they could also tie, like, leveling the weapon up through, like, okay, if you play... This activity, using this weapon, you get, like, triple experience compared to playing it elsewhere. You know, they could experiment a bit with that system. And, you know, that, in and upon itself, would bring the grind back into Destiny 2. Uh, making different levels for everything would also mean that there's, like, a bit of a grind that you need to do, like, in figuring out, like, you know, what to equip. And, obviously, you can grind up, like, and get weapons and armor for your builds and stuff and take on, like, masters, grandmasters and all that fun stuff and whatnot. There's obviously, like, the, like, loot chase, especially, like, in, like, trials and stuff. Like, it would probably breathe a bit new life into it when you're, like, when you realize, like, oh, wait, my power level doesn't matter anymore, so I could just kind of hop straight in, you know? Like, obviously, they'd have to change, like, the intro quest for it, but, you know, Bungie could do that. They've done it multiple times, like, very easily. It's just, I don't know. Like, overall, I would love to see Bungie actually, like, basically just say, right, power level, we don't need that anymore. And, you know, obviously introduce new things to grind for i know like at one point they were saying like it was also like some nightfall exclusives were like exotic like sparrows and uh, ghosts like we could have some of them back as well in strikes and stuff and different activities that would also be a cool grind too like i know in certain activities there are but like i don't know basically i'm greedy i just want more excuses because like i know for a fact for for, uh, for myself i would have less excuses to grind if i was told like there's no need for power level grinding anymore and the only reason i'm doing what i'm doing in the background gameplay is either for an ascendant alloy for weapon crafting, or if it's uh, the wellspring, I'm doing that to try and get my like second exotic glaive for my hunter. But hey, you know what? We don't like develop the game, so maybe this is a lot tougher than we think it is. Because to be fair, the power level 
is like baked into nearly every aspect of the game. You can't nearly go anywhere without like power level, you know? So yeah, it's not really that easy. And obviously, as I said before, like as long as they're adding like new stuff, they'll like, you know, people will be interested and people will keep playing, especially because like a lot of people also complained recently that like sometimes it does feel like they're kind of like you're not just grinding Destiny, but like Bungie are kind of grinding you for playtime to keep your eyes like in the game. So you keep seeing like Eververse and stuff. And that's why like Bright Engrams drop. Well, obviously, it's just it's just kindness that they dropped like every I think it's like two, five levels or something. I can't remember. And obviously, if you're doing the initial track, like it's different uh, intervals. But like, obviously, it, it does still kind of like psychologically tie into like okay, when they see the Bright Engram, they'll think, oh yeah, I have Bright Dust. I'm going to check Eververse to see if I can buy something Bright Dust. And then you're like me, and you see the like Energy Sword finisher. You're like, oh yeah, I have some silver. I'm going to get that. And yes, I did buy it. But to be fair, right? I had this silver left over literally from like a year ago, and I haven't used it since. So I was like, yeah, why not? I'll just get it. Why not? I bet you that was going to be sold for Bright Dust in the next few weeks. So yeah, I'm going to like cry when that happens but anyway that's just a bit on like you know the power level and if it should be removed i think they the ultimate answer i need to give is yes i do believe they should just basically remove it at this point because it's just like an old system that stayed within destiny just like the iron banner token system like once these systems are out like and then once obviously the subclasses are brought up like you know just it'll keep making destiny feel like a new game and stuff as well but hey you never know maybe bungie might just all of a sudden drop everything and be like yo destiny tree down the pipeline <laughs> who knows anyway thank you guardian so much for listening to this video if you liked it obviously like it comment on some of your thoughts on well basically what you think about like grinding in destiny and if you had more of a choice in like what to grind because obviously like grinding power level kind of forces you to choose like stuff that's pinnacle or stuff that's powerful and stuff so it's kind of annoying and also make sure to subscribe if you want and hit the bell if you do so desire because after this recording, I definitely want to make another video, but I don't know if I'll get it done on time. And if I can't get it done on time, then it won't go out. But hey, you never know. Maybe I will. Thanks again for listening, and I'll catch you guys next time.